this bathroom is like poo, poo and blink apparently. If this bathroom is poo and blink after I've finished. Hey everybody, Amy here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be testing spray in hair colour. So this is the spray that I am going to be using. It is this Fudge Urban Colour Hair Art Spray and I've got this one in blue and this one in pink. The actual colours are Turquoise Noise and Pink Ink. And I'm really, really looking forward to testing these. I got them in TK Maxx. They were £2.99 each. Yep, £2.99 each. RRP is £5.99, so I saved three quid. And I just thought they'd be really fun to test and I thought they might make a fun video to make. So I am going to be spraying these in my hair and seeing what results we get. So first things first, I'm just going to section my hair. So I'm going to leave down the bit that I'm going to be colouring. Like this. I think that's, I think that's about right. Okay, so I've got back section tied back and then just these little front sections here that I'm going to be colouring. I'm just going to split these again so I'm just going to clip them up in half so I've got the underneath and the top bit showing. Okay so that's my hair separated so I'm going to go with this and I'm going to do the pink first so give it a good shake. Oh so noisy. Just to let you know I'm wearing a crappy top that is covered in paint Look, see, you see, it's all covered in paint, so I'm not bothered about getting the dye on it, but I did actually find something in Home Bargains that I thought would help me with this and future hair dyeing attempts, and it's this. This is a hair dyeing cape. It's like a hairdresser's cape, and it clips around your neck, and it's supposed to protect you from the dye, and it was 99p. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. How amazing does that look? I feel like I've got wings. This, just so you know, is a wash in, wash out. So it, I'll spray it in and then it says that the next time I wash my hair, it should come out, fingers crossed. It should do, I've got work tomorrow. So I'm just separating this into two and I'm gonna do this bit pink. So I'm just gonna put this bit in my mouth to keep it out of the way. Mm. Mm -hmm. literally goes everywhere literally everywhere I don't know if you're gonna I'm gonna be able to be very precise with this this is not as easy as I thought it was gonna be look at my hand <laughs> hi it's not working as well as what I was hoping it would either it's really patchy and my hair feels oh, it feels like it's got some sort of powder coating on it it's it's really not nice i'm just gonna try brushing through it see if it helps oh my god oh my oh my gosh ow oh my god i can't get my brush out ah you can't ah you can't brush through it oh i am hair sore as well by the way not a lot but i'm still i'm pretty hair sore so this hurts this hurts so much i wonder if it'd work better if i put it on the brush and then sprayed it let's try that I'm real I'm really not rating this so far. Oh. Oh, that hurts. Anyway, I'm gonna do the pink on the other side. I've started, so I might as well finish. Right, I'm gonna move on to the blue now. I'm gonna do the blue. So this is the turquoise noise. I'm not holding that much hope. I don't think this is gonna be much better to be honest, but let's give it a go anyway. Oh my god, I just sprayed it in my eye. I've literally just sprayed it in my eye. Ah, oh, I can't even get the brush out of my hair. What is going on? Okay, the blue looks marginally better than the pink. Do you know, I wasn't expecting salon results, don't get me wrong, but I was kind of hoping it would look a little less patchy. But I'm gonna do the other side anyway. Now the directions actually say to hold this 20 to 25 centimeters away from the area that you're spraying, but I find if I do that, it literally just goes everywhere. There's no precision, and it's even patchier than if you hold it up close. So I've been kind of varying my distance to, you know, try and get some sort of evenness to the color, but I don't seem to be doing a very good job, and I just sprayed that right on my forehead. Oh dear. Okay, well that's this side done. I, I have to brush through it now. I'm dreading this. 
Alright, so I'm gonna do this section pink. Oh. 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 Right in the left eye. So that is all the bit of hair that I want to dye in dyed. Look at the state of it, look. Just look, 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 look at me. I've just got to brush through this bit now. I swear, this is like some form of torture, this. I'm not, oh, ah. Oh. I feel like I need a little bit of pink in the front here, so I'm just gonna spray this bit pink. Okay, so that's it, it's finished. I'm gonna let the rest of my hair down in a minute, but I'm just gonna show you the, my, like my actual whole face look. So, if you do wanna play around with these, little tip for you, don't do your makeup first, make sure you do it afterwards. Um, wear gloves, I would suggest, and don't use your favourite brush. So, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna let the rest of my hair down and sort of brush it all together. I'm gonna wipe the dye off my face as well. We'll just get an idea of what it looks like finished, and I'll give you my final opinion. Okay everyone, so the hair's down, and I'm relatively clean like it's literally that just took me about 20 minutes to get all that dye off and there's still bits like around the my hairline that I can't get off no matter what I do and oh my god it was so hard getting off I've had to scrub it with a flannel and some like hot soapy water to try and get it off look how red my neck is I've not even got it off my hands properly yet can you see there's still like a blue tinge to my hands my overall opinion of this product is that I do not rate it at all if you want to give it a go give it a go by all means it's a bit of fun at the end of the day but yeah the product is it's it's horrible like the, the texture of the hair now is really horrible it literally feels like it's just gonna get tangled into a huge knot. Like by the end of the night, I'd be in, I'd have a bird's nest on my head. The colours have come out okay, considering that my hair wasn't. I mean, it's blonde, but it's not very light blonde. Um, I think obviously, if you have bleached hair, like white blonde hair, then the colours would really be vibrant. They'd really show up. Um, was it worth the effort? No, no, it wasn't. I just want to wash my hair now. It's it feels that horrible that I just want to wash my hair. Not only that, but look, I'm touching my hair and the dye is still coming off on my fingers. I'm just, I'm not rating this. I'm really not rating it at all. It's a bit of fun, don't get me wrong, it's a bit of fun, but I just don't like it. I really don't like it. So I am gonna tie my hair up now because I really can't bear the thought of having this down much longer. I need to just get it up and off my neck and my shoulders. All right, so that's my hair tied up. It, look, look at my hands from tying it up. I didn't want to have a shower until tomorrow morning, but I'm thinking I'm gonna to have to have one tonight because my pillows are a very pale gray and white color. And if I put my head on them, they're gonna be pink and blue in the morning. So fudge urban color is a huge thumbs down. A huge blue thumbs down. I've also just noticed as well, my hair matches the towels. I match my bathroom. And there's blue towels as well, they're like turquoise green towels as well. So look at that, my hair totally matches the bathroom. Anyway, so that is everything for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up, a huge blue thumbs up. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button below. If you click the little bell next to the subscribe button, you'll be notified every time I post anything new. Thank you again so much for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye!